that a fine piece of equipment, boys? Somebody found a Tootsie Roll. How's your morning? Oh, not too bad. You're Big making holes. your you're making your first debut on the on the on the new show. Oh, that's true, I am. Yeah. So how was your pilot car experience last night? Oh my god. <laughs> we were stuck up on that pass for an hour and a half. Yeah. Almost two hours. Waiting. It was weird that's, because... That's about the pilot car we talked about on the episode last night. All the, uh, what was it, the, the east to west traffic? Yeah. Seemed to be going way, way more than we did. Gotcha. It was weird. But then again, we had both 22 and 20 coming together. Yeah. With no flag or anything there, so we had to merge. And then you had to go up, all the way up to right above Lost Lake. It's where the pilot car finally took uh, you off. Oh, jeez. Yeah. That was because the Millie fire and the <laughs> new fire up on the side of the road. <laughs> yep. Is there a name on that yet, do you know? Potato Hill, as far as I know, because that's the name of the little snow park that's there. Gotcha. Potato Hill fire. Yep. That one is right on the uh, <laughs> right on the highway. So... What we're building is an arena. It's gonna go to that corner, all the way to that corner, to that corner, to that corner, over there.
big one. Jesus. better though that's almost 15 inches Ow. this one yeah Shoot. from where it was this one back here has got me concerned well Six inches work. there's two outcomes i was gonna say that's not fucking root we were fighting no move the hole no <laughs> We need to be in like that far. What if we get that under and then wedge one of these behind it? That's fine. Because then you'll have two bars pretty much. Pretty much. There you go. That's a rock. It's going. It's going. Is she moving? Yeah, she's moving slowly. Oh! That one, I'm pretty sure it's touching rocks, I think so. Oh, my ear needs a break. It's loud. Day two on fence building. Look at that. Look how straight these poles are, guys. So if you kind of span out this way, you can see the poles, and then look at this. Boom. That's how you do it right there. Yeah. That's some quality fence laying right there some quality poles no, i think we've done this a time or two and we're back for day two huh kyle hey yeah, yeah. Oh, what fuck day one and day two. so basically we've gotten down to the point where about half these holes from day one we had to actually get this big bar and chip rock it's slow going Well, while you guys are uh, hand digging this hole out, uh, Kyle, do you want to explain to him on these holes down this line? As a, you can talk, and I'm gonna pan over to this line of holes. So basically, every single hole. Not damn near all the way down. We only got what? Six inches. Six so inches. all of them have to be hand dug. All yeah. these holes. A lot of fucking rock out here. A lot of rock. A whole lot you can do with that fucking auger, especially when there's rock in the way, and it's kind of a pile of fuck. 
I wasn't pretty. I wasn't too well, impressed. I I was when we first started. Yeah. But well over half of these have been just crap. Bub here and I started this morning at about 9.30, 9.15-ish, and we did two hours of just hand digging on some of these holes down over here. These, All these, like about seven of these, all got hand, what they're doing behind us. Chipping raw. Papa, how are you doing today? Coming. Papa's hot. Yeah? He's in need of a beer. Another one? Yeah. I've been working on my fair share this morning. Yes. You guys are on your last one. We're good. We've we're gonna got. Set, we're gonna set this one. Yeah. And then when these two set, we'll come back and string a line to get the corner. Okay. Yeah, we didn't touch that one up yet. No, nope, no, nope, that's all good. Scott, uh, how you doing today? I'm tired. How tired. I uh, just telling the tubers, uh, showing them our quality of. Oh yeah. Quality of construction. Yeah, on camera it looks badass. It is badass. We don't do uh, half-ass work. We do badass work. In a minute, I'm gonna grab that. Uh, I think oh, the cleaned it all up though. No, I know, but this is. Yesterday I got a picture of it. So, you need to tell them that. Go for it. So, the secret of any quality job is lubrication. So, we believe in staying properly hydrated and lubricated. <laughs> Uh, one or two bagger? Uh, probably a two bagger. That's a deep hole. Of oh, well, then you'll have to come back when we cut it to length and put the top rail on and hang yep. the gates. And... Chop it, chop it, chop it. Get around the corner. Get around the corner. There you go. And then it has a a release and you dump it like into a wheelbarrow or yep. trammy it into the hole or whatever. Oh, yeah. That'd be awesome. So a trammy, a trammy would be like when you have a deep post hole. Are you rolling? Yeah. A trammy is when you have a really deep post hole and you're worried about the edges caving in on you. Mm -hmm. Trammy would be like, uh, imagine a transmission funnel. Okay. So. You snorkel it all the way down there in the bottom and you, you mix your mud super wet, pour it through your trimmy, and it fills your hole from the bottom up. Instead of kind of from the side like we're doing? Yeah, well you do it, especially in material where you have a, a hole where the hole's really unstable and it keeps trying to cave in on oh, you. Yeah. So like when we start pouring in the top here, these holes are really good, but when you start pouring in the top start pulling and, your, in. and your walls cave in you, then you end up with a bubble or a bunch of material, dry material at the bottom of your hole. Doesn't make for a very good post. The other thing you might consider is getting yourself a little tow behind barrel, you know, with an electric motor. So that all this hand work, or as we affectionately call it, a hand job. <laughs> Papa, you want to update them on how many poles we're putting in this arena we're setting? We're drilling and I, I couldn't remember the number the other so, day. So, this arena is 90 feet wide by 180 long. If you know anything about arenas, typically you like to make them twice as long as they are wide. So, this one we had enough real estate to do 90 wide, 180 long. Um, we didn't want our poles to be more than 10 feet apart, so we divided our length into an even number of poles we ended up with our posts nine feet apart so basically we changed it up on the corners a little bit but basically we were going to go with uh, 60 posts we added a couple extra posts in at the gates and we added an extra post in at the corners so I think we're at 60 66 or 68 posts we're putting in the ground once we get it all set we'll set up the level figure out we think we want them about four and a half feet tall to the top rail. We'll snap a line, cut everything off nice and pretty and level, and then start building our top rail. And then come back, we'll put a, two middle rails on it. And because we don't want to mix our good footing with our crap dirt, um, we're talking about putting a uh, two by 10 treated curb okay. board on the inside to keep all of our good footing to the inside. Should make us a nice riding arena, we hope. Hopefully. Stay tuned and find out. Yeah.
Yeah, they're still working on that same hole over there. <laughs> they're still working on that same hole. Poor bastards. Not much filming today, but uh, it was hot. And here's what we got completed. Uh, this whole row is done. And this row and the front row is done. So we got one more row along that side. And uh, yeah, this was not easy digging on this side at all, guys, but we got all the poles in. Every single one of them. So that's gonna conclude this episode of Central Oregon Shenanigans. So please comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. Give this video a big thumbs up. We'll do an update on the arena when it's done. So check out some of our other videos if you're new, uh, new to the channel. Catch you next time.